Our Seeds of Faith reflection for today is entitled, The Triumphal Entry of Jesus. The Holy Week is upon us once again. It is a good time to pause and reflect about our life. The Palm Sunday, or the Triumphal Entry of Jesus, teaches us two things. Now, first and foremost, His entry into our lives will lead to our cleansing. The entry of Jesus into Jerusalem led him to the temple in which he subsequently cleansed it by overturning the tables of the corrupt businessmen who were in connivance with the corrupt priests. For sure, there will be an upheaval within us when we let Jesus enter our lives. Maybe some of us will not like his entrance, and like the Pharisees and priests and Sadducees of olden times, we will plot for the death of Jesus in our lives. Or some of us will get angry like the money changers whom Jesus called thieves and robbers because of their corrupt ways. But hopefully, most of us will allow Jesus to cleanse the temple of our lives of any unclean practices. Now secondly, his entrance in our lives will teach us how to live humble lives. Now amidst the chaos of the Roman occupation and the constant clamor of people for salvation from foreign domination, Jesus rode a donkey. A donkey is a symbol of peace and humility. He did not ride a horse, which was a symbol of war and success. Now here's the point. In the midst of our horsepower-driven society, we sometimes forget to acknowledge God as the source of everything. When we make ourselves as the center or the starting point of our successes, we are committing the sin of pride. Let us be reminded that the center letter of the word sin and pride is the letter I. Now here is an illustration that tells about the story of the donkey that Jesus rode. The donkey was so fascinated by the event of the triumphal entry that he later on excitedly told his mother, that the people were praising him and extolling his humble virtues. Now his mother wanted to teach him a lesson about humility. So she asked him to ride the trail again all by himself. Now the donkey went home and learned a lesson. We are nothing without the Lord Jesus Christ. Now here is a question for us to ponder. Will we let Jesus have a triumphal entry into our lives. May God bless us all. Amen.